Okay, all those people in TV land. Let's talk about this. This is Sing It Again, Sam. And I am having another story time with me. Sing It Again, Sam. So, this one's going to be quick. This is about my great grandmother. My great grandmother was a very lily white lady. Okay? And, um,. My mother, evidently, like I said, this, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't say this before. This story is actually a secondhand source, so I can't say for sure this is what happened, but I'm pretty sure this is what happened. My mom came to my good grandmother's house out in Hebronville, Texas, and um, brought her Mexican friend, her Mexican girlfriend not girlfriend but like her friend who's a girl brought her to my grandmother's ranch my grandmother refused to let my mother or her friend stay because she's mexican let's sit in for a minute because i'm mexican so, my mother and her Mexican friend had to go sleep in their car. Granted, years later, me, the first grandchild, came into the scene and I was allowed to come into the house. I guess I was wide enough. Who knows? But my great-grandmother never, ever made me feel less for being Mexican. But it could be because I had enough of her white blood in me. Who knows? I just didn't ask any questions. I was a kid. I didn't know. I didn't know what had happened before. I didn't know she didn't let Mexicans in before. But she never made me feel that way. She always made me feel like I was her grandchild. And I don't understand that dichotomy of not liking Mexicans. But still allowing your half Mexican child, grandchild, great grandchild to come into your house. I don't understand that. But that's, that's what it is being Texan, mixed, Mexican American, Scotch Irish, and Mexican. That's what it is, I guess. I guess I was white enough. I guess I looked white enough, right? Right? I don't know. But she still always made me feel loved. That was the weird thing. The strange dichotomy of, of, of her racism. But she still had love for me. She never made me feel less. Ever. She treated me like any of the other one of her grandkids. She used to watch like the Macy's Day Parade on this tiny TV in the kitchen. And I would sit up on the on the bar stool right there on the counter and she'd make me bacon and eggs and give me this tiny little cup of juice like those old school cups of juice like you know I don't know you have to be pretty old to know what I'm talking about but you know those like old little plastic green cups she'd give me a little cup of juice in that 
She always loved me. I never understood how she could be so hateful and still love me. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can explain it to me. But here's another one of my story times with Sam. Sing it again, Sam. This one was shorter, trying to like not make them so long. But this one comes from my heart. I love my great grandmother. I know she was racist. But I loved her so much, and she loved me so much, and I never understood when I realized how racist she was. How she could still love me so much. She never made me feel like the other. She never made me feel like I was less. So it never made sense to me how she could, on the same coin, or turn, be so hateful and, and prejudiced. I never understood it. Because she loved me no matter what. Even though she knew I was like, Even though she knew I was half Mexican and she wouldn't love her in her house, she never made me feel that way. So I don't know how to feel about her. How do you feel about that? Sorry. But how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that when you know you come from racist people? But they still accepted you. Ah, God. I don't know what to do with that. Anyway, uh, try to make it nice again. This is Seeking Again, Sam. And this is one of my story times, Seeking Again, Sam again. Hope you liked it. The, this is where I come from. These are my stories. You can like them or not. You can believe them or not. It's up to you. But this is where I come from. And I honestly feel like I am an amalgamate. Uh, uh, a true melting pot of America. And especially Texas. <sighs> so, watch. Let me know. Give me your opinion. Help me make these videos better or worse. Um, and I love your opinions. So, like, subscribe. Do all those fancy things down at the bottom where you push buttons. And let me know if you like my stuff or not. And if you don't, that's fine. Comment. Otherwise, this is my life. And I'm just trying to share it. Whether people want to hear it or not. So, let me know what you think. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Wear your mask, whether you want me to say that or not. Get that vaccine. Take care of each other. Because we're a community. Even if we have different opinions, we are a community. And that's the sad thing I think that people are forgetting. We're a community, and we got to look out for each other. Got to look out for ourselves as well as each other. Anyway, I feel like I'm preaching now, so. 
You guys tell me if you like it or not. Either way, thank you. Thank you for your time. And if you held out for all this video, oh, you're a scholar. I don't even think I could watch this whole video of myself. So have a good night. Take care of each other. Good night. So sing it again, Sam.